Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and Tim. Hi everybody. Today we are going to be doing an Australian taste test, so let's get started. First up we're going to start with these Pascal's Marshmallows, and these ones are chocolate milkshake flavoured. Oh yum. Do you like marshmallows? I love marshmallows, but I like chocolate milkshakes as well. You know what I like marshmallows? Toasted. Toasted marshmallows. Yeah, around the, you stick oh, them yeah. on a stick that you find from the yard. Yeah, get all the <laughs> bird poo off it. Who washes the stick before they use it? Do you wash the stick? No. And you're still alive. Oh, oh, they smell pretty good. Look at that. See, they're two-toned. Chocolate yeah. milkshakes. Smell them. Have a whiff. Hmm. Mm. They're okay. Hmm. It's not too bad. It's a little artificial tasting, though. I knew you were going to say that. You know, it'd be good in a hot chocolate. You melt it on top. Yes, the flavour of them is quite nice. They've got a weird powderiness on the outside, which I don't mind on marshmallows. I no. expect that because then it keeps them separated. And I do like a bit of order. Really sweet, they're really soft. They do have a chocolatey and a vanilla flavour to them. I don't mind the chocolate flavour. Do you reckon, I think it's okay. Do you reckon they make them white and then someone comes along and dips it in chocolate to get the chocolate on top? No, because look. Oh, it's all the way through. It's all the way through. What madness is this? So how do they join that together? I don't know how they make marshmallows. Yeah, I don't mind them. I think they're pretty good. Hmm. They're, they're nicer than I thought they were going to be. These ones are a winner. I'm going to try some new M&Ms. And it's pretzel flavoured. Tammy's favourite. You guys... Oh, look at the pretzel in the back. I know, but have a look. Tell me what they look like. Because I haven't seen them yet. Do you ever do weird things with your pretzels when you eat them? I do. I like to try to bite, bite them off and make shapes out of them. Many a time <laughs> I've had to look at this man sitting on the lounge with a pretzel spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you do it. I think everyone would have a go at it. I'm going to have to pretend that this is my first time with these, although it is not. I really love these, but they are new to the market here in Australia. They have been in America already, I'm pretty sure. Does that mean I've tried them too? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe you didn't get any. They're really quite chunky M&Ms. Nice colours. Good value for money. Yeah. I'm going to have an orange one. Mm. They aren't they nice? They're really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. And it's real salty aftertaste when you finish it. Mm. I like that little bit of saltiness in there. You've got that crunchy pretzel in the middle, then you've got chocolate, and then you've got a candy coating outside. Really, really delicious. And this is an M&M that I would buy again. I'd get these over normal M&Ms. We'll put them up here on the shelf. Why? Why? For later on. Oh, next up we're going for some Arnott's biscuits. They're iced bobo lamingtons from Arnott's. This is based on the classic cake thing we have here, which is like a vanilla sponge cake that is covered in chocolate and has jam on it, hence the look of it there on the cover. And that's a picture of a lamington on the front. Oh, they smell good. Right up. That's not what I was expecting. No, it looks all right. It's got a nice bit of jam in the middle there and chocolate. Here you go. I'm finding it a bit dry. Not as good as the original Bobos. No. Look, these are actually still very nice. If you didn't know there were iced Bobos in the world and you just bought these, you'd be quite happy. Oh, yeah, well, they're so nice that I'm not having the rest. <laughs> oh really? No, I don't like it. Just destroyed my childhood. Got my arms folded on, gone in defense mode. Dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> right now this is killing me not eating it my freakish way. You know how I eat around the biscuit and stuff and they've divided into sections? Yeah. I'm having to eat this like an adult. I don't mind these, but of course I like the classic ice bobo much better. It does taste like a lamington. I wouldn't get them again though. But if you're going to have a lamington, have a lamington. You're going to have an ice bobo, have an ice bobo. Never the twain shall meet. Mm. Time for a beverage break. Bundaberg Burgundy Creaming Soda. Only one problem with this beverage break, and it will come apparent very soon. So just keep watching. What's the problem? <laughs> we will see. You're freaking me out. They come in packs of four, and they have a ring pull on top. I love red drink. Oh, it's fizzing up, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da! <gasps> Burgundy. Creaming soda. It smells good. Let's pour it into a glass. Oh yes, please. Look at the rich red colour of that. And there's the dilemma mm. of the taste test, guys. Somebody gets a glass and somebody doesn't. But it's not a dilemma because I have the glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could drink from the same glass. Okay. Cheers. Would have been nice to have a sip with you, but anyway. How was that? Yum! I bet it is. It I love nice. it! 
I love it. Have a whizzy <laughs> whizzer of that, guys. Mm. This is really sweet, and it's got a really nice b b b b b red taste to it. <laughs> Just how you want your red drink to be. Thank you. <laughs> that was nice. I would definitely get this one again. That's a winner. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Bundaberg make really nice drinks. And they're overseas in America too, you know. I thought they were in Queensland. Yeah, yeah but they... <laughs> Ow. It's an Australian-owned company that's in Bundaberg, which is a township in Queensland. They do sell this in America. Oh, now. is that what you mean? I don't know if the creaming soda is available over there. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe it's only the ginger ale or ginger beer. I think we should get some in a glass and put a bit of ice cream in it. It's like a spider. Yeah. That's what we call... We call everything a spider here in Australia because usually it is. I never called them a spider as a kid. I always called them creaming sodas. Oh. When I met Tamara, she started calling them spiders. I had no idea what she's talking about. I did Google it. Maybe because it makes lots of bubbles on top and it looks like a bit like a web. Like a little baby nest of spiders. Spider. Oh, she's getting into it. I think she likes it. <laughs> nice. You have no chance of getting this off. Okay. No chance. <laughs> I made it for you because no, I love no, you. No, here, try. It's really good. Do you like mm. that? Doesn't that make you feel like a little kid? That's lovely. That's really good. Don't know if these are actually made in Australia, but they're new. Buja and their chip mix. Oh, they are actually made in Australia. Cool. And these are a butter chicken flavor. Chip mix. I don't know exactly what that involves. Love, love, love butter chicken. Same here. A delectable mix of veggie chips, legume chips, crinkled potato chips, and quinoa. Oh, quinoa chips infused with butter chicken flavor. So is it good for you? Ah, oh, probably. See, it actually has it on the back there. What's in the mix? That's it looks like. Oh. This is a really interesting mix of chips in there, as you mm. can see. Well, could this be crinkly one? What do you reckon that is? Hang well, on, maybe you can talk from the back. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. I got a, oh, you got a quinoa I've chip. I've got a quinoa chip. How exciting. And I'm going to try a legume chip. Hmm. You're not? Yeah. The butter chicken flavour in it is quite subtle, which is good. It's not overpowering, it's just there. And um, they're very light and airy. Yeah, I was about to say that. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's all little bubbles through it. Guess who got a crinkled potato chip? Oh, you do. Me! You get the veggie chip out of there. Hunt it down, honey. Hunt it down. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it, yep. There you are. Oh, that's nice. Mmm, mmm. It just disappears to nothing. See, now I want to try the other ones. Let's try this other one, which is a quinoa chip. Mm -hmm. You like that. But I want you to try this one, a veggie chip. You haven't had one of those, have you? Mm -hmm. I've tried crinkle cuts. How good is that? They're all good. Wow. You know, what I love about this mix is that I'm not disappointed with any one of the elements in here. And even though it's got those different kinds of chips made of obviously different kinds of things, they're all Contrast, nice. Yeah. Like, you know how usually like, oh, I'll avoid that one. This one, you just, you're happy to have anything that you get out of the bag. I haven't had the one that you had first, like you chip. They all smell and taste the same, mm. but it's got different textures. Same flavors, just different textures, which is nice. Mm. Textures, mm. really good on this. Flavors, really good on this. Would you get them again? Two thumbs up for me. Very nice. What was that? Oh, <laughs> that was me slamming my happiness on the table. Oh, look, the camera shakes. Hello. Yeah. Last item is a classic. It's a violet crumble, and usually these come with milk chocolate, but this one's a dark chocolate one. Oh, yeah. yum. My. Excuse me, I've got look a blue at that. finger. What did you put it in? <laughs> it's definitely. Oh, Eminem. M&M. Dark chocolate. It's the way it shatters that matters. Oh, oh that's quite dark, that chocolate. It's very dark. Mm. Honeycomb is a very, very popular thing here in Australia. You know how overseas, yeah. like America, you've got your peanut butter in the UK. What do you have in the UK? I have Marmite. Oh, there you go. Oh. So that's what it looks like inside. It's a very hard honeycomb inside or a very crispy one. Yeah, it is, isn't and, it? Uh, it does just shatter. So... Oh. Mmm. Mmm. 
The chocolate's very strong, isn't it? I prefer it with the milk chocolate, mm. personally. Mm. Really? Mm. You love dark chocolate? I know. But not with your violet crumble. It's too sweet for the dark chocolate. Mm. See, I have a special way I like to eat violet crumble. I like to bite all of the chocolate off, and then I'm left just with the honeycomb bit, and then I eat that. How do you feel about that process? Show the folk how you gnaw your honeycomb. <laughs> like a little possum. Yep. I have my pretzels, Tem has her honeycomb. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you would do something like this. Would not get this one again. No. I'd just get the normal Violet Crumble. That was fun, Tam. Thank yeah. you for inviting me up today to do your taste test with you. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic week, and we'll see you next time. And thanks for your time, and catch you later. Bye. Bye. Your hair looks beautiful today, Tam. Oh, thank you. I like the curl. Make me look girly. It softens your face. Because oh, <laughs> usually it's so hard. <laughs> It's hard going around life with a hard face.